Hi everyone, good morning. Vanessa here with another craft video for you. I don't have a sample of this one. Um, it's just, I got this idea off of Pinterest and I wanted to give you all a rundown on how to get it done. The supplies you need for this one, toilet paper, a paper towel rolls, a pair of scissors, double-sided tape, if I can get myself unstuck to it, and, um, or you can use glue or whatever, paint, you can use, you can paint this before you put it together, or you can do whatever you want, okay? First, you start off with the paper towel rolls. And you cut them to the size you want. It can be any size. It, it'll come out to a um, flower design. I mean, you can cut them different sizes, but I choose to measure them. So I know they're the same size. And I'm off camera. Sorry, guys. Yesterday, my grandson comes home from school, and he had a project to do for school. Which he needed to decorate a, um, what was it? A ginger, little ginger, paper gingerbread man. And we did pretty, he did pretty good. We used some beads and some ribbon and whatnot. Okay, I think this is going to be my last one. And we're going to check it to see. This one's going to be a really short video. I'm going to use double sided tape to put mine together in case I want to take it apart later and paint it or color it with markers or cut watercolor pencils or you know whatever you have around. It can be done. I'm just using whatever I have around my house. That's what crafts is all about. Making what, using whatever you have. And here's the flower. I'll probably paint mine later on. But to put it, to, to assemble it, I'll do this. On both sides. Of this piece, this piece of the leaf, I'll put a piece of tape. Okay, where is my pen? And I'll varnish it. I'll use a pen to varnish it. The back of a pen. I don't feel like looking for, if, um, going for my, uh, what they call it? Bone folder. So I'll just do it the easy way. So that's one, and then I'll stick this piece on it. Oops, it's not even. See how I'm doing it? See? Now I'm going to remove the second piece. And I'm going to... Do the same thing. And you continue to do the same thing all the way around. You can make them, uh, put them together and decorate them. Use it on your wall. Or on, you know, whatever, wherever you want to use it. I'm doing this project, it's a planner for a group called uh, the Documented Life Project, and my grandson saw me making it, and he wants me to make him an art journal, and he's only five years old. 
So imagine each piece I'll varnish the tape on it as I go. That way it's easier to do varnish it and put it together at the same time. See? Starting to turn into a little flower. I mean, this is one of the easiest projects that I've done so far. I might need to cut out more um, petals. Because this one looks like it's going to be a little bit smaller than when I put cut out the piece and, you know, see if I had enough petals to put it together. It's coming out a little smaller than what I think. Yeah, I'm going to need more petals, so I'll cut out more petals in a minute. Okay, time to cut out more petals. Now this time I'm going to use a paper towel roll. Maybe a little bit thicker, but it'll work. Do it the same way. You can cut it by eye. You can eyeball it, or you can use an old a uh, piece from the fir first part of it and cut it. Actually, I'm gonna do it a different way. Make it a little faster. Okay. Measure and cut. Well, it's not going to be as straight as I want it, but we can trim a little off the, the uneven parts. There we go. That's another petal. There's another petal and another one. Now, I'll put the tape on these and hopefully it'll be enough. If not, well, we'll just cut more. I've seen people use this and get the center of it and made a clock out of it. The things you find off on uh, Pinterest. Whoops. My trusty little safety pen. Okay. You can even use my Podge to stick these together. Whoops, I guess that didn't work. I'm using double sided tape just to uh, show you what it'll look like when it's done. That's all. Later on, I'll um, try to paint it and uh, post a picture after I reassemble it. There you go. Whoops. Well, I guess I need all the petals that I cut. Let's see. This is good. Just put a piece right there. And my flower is done. You can make it bigger if you like. Or you can leave it as it is. Let's see. If I put it a little bit closer. Hmm. Let's see. I gotta try to stick this piece together. And see how it look if I push it in a little closer without a gap in the middle.
See if we put it in. Whoops, a daisy. If we push it in, it looks more like a flower. But like I said, I'll paint it later and I'll take pictures. I'll have the tutorial and everything on my blog along with the video link on my blog. Okay? Thanks for watching. Remember, be kind to others, as my friend Kelly would say, because you never know what battles they may be fighting. Also, um, no matter, it's not what other people think of you, it's what you think of yourself. And please, no bullying. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please uh, subscribe, pin, tumble, comment. I'll put the links and all the and the supplies needed for this in the description line. Um, I'll put everything that I need, all the links and all the whatever is in the description line below. Please comment, like, subscribe, pin, tumble, um, Instagram, follow me, I'm all over the web. So, where you find me, please follow me and I'll be more than happy to follow you back. Thank you for watching.